Welcome to South Carlton High School. While there is no in-person link crew orientation this fall due to COVID, we thought we'd take you on a brief tour of our school. When you first walk through the front doors of South, you'll be in the grad hall. On your left, you'll find the CAF, and to your right, you'll see the front office. Also in the grad hall is the breakfast club room, as well as guidance, resource, and the foods room. At the end of the grad hall is the English hall, also known as the purple hall for the color strip at the top. Here's a typical English classroom. On the other side of the English hall, you'll find the library where you can sign out books, Chromebooks, and use meeting rooms, each of which has whiteboards and electronic hookups designed to help you work. Leaving the library and heading towards the blue and yellow halls, we head past the courtyard, and then across the hall, you see the parenting room where students wishing to go into child and youth careers after high school can get practical experience working with preschool age children. Back in the hall, heading away from the library is the art room. Then on the left, further up is the drama room. Up at the end of the hall, we hit the yellow hall. To the right are a mix of language department classrooms. Here, you can take French, Spanish, and maybe even German. That's good! Oh God. Turning around, we head past some more language classrooms on our way to the tech hall. At the main intersection of halls in our school, we head back towards the grad hall by way of the geo hall, also known as the red hall. Here we have not just geo classrooms, but also civics, careers, and humanity classrooms. Here's a typical humanities classroom. As we back up in the red hall, you'll see the alcove that leads to the music room and the main gyms. as well as the cafeteria. We have a variety of food purchase options available in the CAF if you forgot your lunch at home. Heading out of the CAF and back up the Red Hall. On your right, you'll find History or Blue Hall. However, not just history is taught in this hall. It's also Junior Art, Yearbook, Media Studies, and some Social Senior Sciences. Here's a typical history classroom, as well as Mr. Pettigrew's shrine to the leaves. Leaves suck! On the other side of the hall, we have the yearbook classroom, where students get to mix business with art and making a book of memories with over 100 pages. Heading back into the tech hall, students can take courses with experiential learning in design, automotive, construction, manufacturing, house building, or communications. For example, here's the engineering and programming classroom where students can do everything from learn how computers are put together to building remotely operated robots. Back out in the tech hall is also the entrance to the dance studio where dance teachers and student helpers work together to create the very popular fall and spring dance shows. Here's the outer studio and the inner studio. Moving down the tech hall into the science hall, we have rooms dedicated to not just general science, but more specifically ones teaching physics, biology, and chemistry. From there, if we head upstairs, we can see a typical math classroom. All of our math classrooms have smart boards, which teachers record on to post lessons for their students. At the end of the math hall is an entrance to one of our fitness rooms. Students can work out upstairs and then head downstairs into our third and last gym.
through the dark windows at the end of Gym 3 is our spin studio. While this video may not replace seeing the school in person, don't hesitate to ask one of the link leaders around the school if you get lost. We've all done it at some point. See you in September.